Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a wonderful Labor Day weekend. We're back, ready and raring to go for the week of tons of inspiration. The video today focuses mostly on supplies and inspiration for paper crafting and junk journaling. However, there are a couple journals in here that will be uh, spread through. You definitely will not want to miss Paula's journal. Her journals are always incredible and I know that we will love it. So I'm not even sure where to start. We have items from Vicky, Above Par Crafts, Paula, and um, Lonnie and a couple things from myself and from Connie, my mother-in-law. So, whoo, we're going to get going. This is going to be a lot of items, but I'll try to keep the pace moving so you can uh, watch on a coffee break <laughs> and not have to take an entire afternoon. So I want to start, there's so much, but I want to start with this because I just finished it up this morning and I think it's really pretty. It is just a little goodie bag set or a little mini kit set that I put together called the Playtime Naturalist. And it is based on a paper pack with elements that I've created. It's new, it's probably two weeks old, something like that. It's in my shop, digitally or printed. So I printed out the pages and then I um, printed them double-sided with just a beautiful uh, script with a lovely envelope patina on the inside. So these are the pages. So this is what you're getting in the kit. And I hope I'm in frame because it's kind of sunny today. So when I created this kit, I was inspired by gorgeous florals from Creative Fabrica. You can always find amazing things on their website. And then also a book from the public domain called The Playtime Naturalist. Here's the index. And there were a lot of insects and birds. And I pretty much did birds and like moths, butterflies, stuff like that. So... These are the pages. I also used some script and postmark elements. And I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Lonnie. Lonnie has been helping me with the admin side of the website. As far as the new look, that's all her. She also helped me with um, this kit. She made some templates and uh, used my papers to create some elements to go with it. So I'm very grateful for that. She has done so much for me. She's also a new supplier. And also I just did a background page. This is the background that I made for all of these. So if you just want a plain background, you have that as well. And you're gonna see a few journals from her. You probably know Lonnie from the marketplace, but she's been working very closely with me in the last couple weeks and I appreciate her help tremendously. So on top of the six pages here, I also made these really pretty dyed pages, uh, painted stenciled pages. It is 20 pound tan paper. And then I used a floral stencil and I used some Dilutions um, Cherry Pie the ink spray, and then I also use, but I used a paintbrush instead of spraying it. And then I also use some Ken Oliver Shimmer um, in the copper color, just a touch of that that I mixed in with the cherry pie. And I've painted that messily on both sides and added butterfly stamping. And there's four pages of those. They coordinate with these pages so you can create a journal. And then I made a little goodie bag. It's just a bag with a little stamped image on the front and what you get all of this stuff coordinates with the papers I just showed you so you have a baggie with four little wooden butterfly dangles these were actually stickers and I used I forgot what it's called but it's that I even forgot what company I think it's EK success but it's pretty much a powder that you take away the stickiness so it's not sticky anymore but there's um, wood and silver butterflies and I punched holes in them and turned them into dangles. So those would go very well with the kit. Here's a little coffee dyed piece of paper. The paper is from Above Par Crafts and um, I just stamped this pretty bird image on there. These are the tags from the kit. Lonnie took some of the pages, made a tag template for me and created these tags. I've stitched them onto coffee dyed paper from Above Par, so love her coffee dyed paper. She sells it in the shop. <clears throat> Lonnie also created this triple pocket template and she's a genius when it comes to templates. So she made one here for my, um, and you get all these elements with the paper pack, 
but I just decorated it up and I've added little tags and goodies and things in that. She did a journal card template as well. So you get these journal cards. And then this is a vintage 1950s book page backed with coffee dye paper and then um, stencil. And that is the Dilutions cherry pie on there. And then she also made this envelope template. And I put it together and added a ton of goodies. So there's like wallpaper die cuts, um, butterfly punch outs, florals, vintage bird pages that have been torn and inked. Those could be cover images for a journal if you wished. Uh, lace wallpaper die cut little cabinet card frame. Joanne made this. It's a little cluster. I thought it went well with the colors. Some coffee dyed stitched paper ribbons, some tickets. These are my brightly inked floral tickets. There's just several of them here that are inked in their card stock. This is a vintage bird from a book and I just stitched it onto some coffee dyed paper. Um, Lonnie made this pocket template as well and I put the pockets together to make this standalone floating pocket and then I have a little manila tag with a fabric top and a little sticker. This is a Dollar Tree butterfly sticker but you could use these as two separate um, pockets if you are gluing them down into a journal and then some fabric. There's a little feather and fabric and coffee dyed and lace snippets. So that is everything that you get with this set. There's just one of them. Oh, there's all, yeah, I showed you the ticket and the tag. There's just one set. I just had the inspiration to do one special set for someone and um, I had fun. So I hope you enjoy it. This will be in the handmade by Lindsay section. And of course the Playtime Naturalist you can get to create with digitally or printed. But this set comes with this goodie bag as well as all those pages and ink pages that I just showed you. Let me get these back in there. So ah, it's this entire set. All right, we are going to pop over to some items from Paula. I love how she recycles, I think this might be a calendar page, to make pockets. And in here she has circle tags. There's, um, they're really pretty. And they have a little pocket so you can tuck your favorite piece of ephemera into the pocket. So whether that be a tag or a little tiny piece of ephemera, I love how Mrs. Coggs, her Etsy shop, she's been doing the mini art prints. And of course you could take any um, digital image and print it smaller, but how pretty are these? I think there's, well, there's a whole bunch of them in here. Lovely. So you can get a whole set all different kinds. So you can use these in many, many journals. Very beautiful. I love the textured paper there. And then this bag, of course, can be reused to store items. It's a calendar page. I love the reusability of that. And at the very least, it just protects these circle tags. So that's from Paula. And then these, she says, are folders with pockets. Let's take a look. Oh, how cute. I will probably sell these individually because look at the work that went into them. And you will get a random one, okay? But these are about the size of my hand. Fabric, lace, look inside. Look at the, the buttons and the collaging. There's a pocket here so you can tuck things in there and there's a pocket there that you can tuck things. And she has all different ones, but you'll just get a random one and they're all just a little bit different. So I think that's lovely if you order three or four of them, maybe to stuff in your happy mail or whatever you wish, you're getting a beautiful, beautiful variety. So you're just gonna get one. It's kind of like a month or two, oh, maybe it's been a couple months. Sophie from China did something similar. I mean, a different concept, but there were a whole bunch of them and you just got a random one. They sold really well, so. Super beautiful. You're just going to get one. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what else she sent here. 10 multi-pocket journal cards. Okay. 
these are pretty what a beautiful set so i will sell it as a set you're getting all of these different multi-pocketed journal cards and there's 10 of them so there's so much inspiration that you can gain from this little booklet on the back even just for different ways you can make pockets and then of course you can add them all right so we're going to make sure that stays together we're going to take a minute to peek at her journal which she put in this lovely bag nice and heavy beautiful bag to store it in i hope we have enough room to open this it is a mega journal Let's do things just a little I also want to thank you, Paula, for the avocado dyed paper you sent me. I am so excited, and I really think this color would go well with the Playtime Naturalist that we were just looking at, but I am very excited to have avocado dyed paper since I've never done it myself. Okay, so this looks like a nature journal. It is big. It is beautiful. Look at this, the leaf there on the spine. How pretty. All right, let's take a look inside if we can. Are we in frame? I think we are. Dear to me, so pretty. Look at the ferns, the birds. She makes layered butterflies, so pretty. Like how that looks like the nest. Oh wow, look. It's a little tree booklet. Papers, stamping. right on how neat beautiful colors nature if you love nature oh look at these fabric stitched leaves wow those are incredible Polly you should make some of those to sell those are gorgeous she's one of my suppliers that's why we're seeing the supplies so pretty. There are a few supplies from her last restock that are still left in the section and they've been um, marked down. So that may be a great option for you to add to your cart while you are shopping. Because remember, if you add 10 items, you get free shipping if you're in the U.S. And if you're international, adding 10 items gives you a $5.99 discount. Here's eco dyed paper. Look at the cute little deer there. So beautiful, Paula. Layered butterflies, squirrel. Oh, this is all painted. Gorgeous little dragonfly here and an acorn. Polly, you sent me a note with this, and one of the things you said was you don't know why it takes you so long to make a journal. I think she painted that. Um, it, it, I can tell you why. Your work's incredible. The detail you put into it is incredible this is not a throw together journal this is a work of art paula you should not feel bad for one second it takes her weeks to make a journal you guys isn't this beautiful look at how beautiful that is the page edging oh so gorgeous and of course it's extra protected in this bag when you have a big journal like this it's really nice to have it protected. And this is a lined bag too. So that's from Paula. Um, I don't know if I have anything else from her or I think that was it. All right, we have a few more hand crocheted paper clips from my mother-in-law, Connie. I think some of you get confused between my mom and my mother-in-law. Connie's my mother-in-law. She does the crocheted items and the beaded items. My mom is Elizabeth and she does more of the journal kits and the journals. So these are hand crocheted mini cream bow on gold paper clips. Really cute. And then she also did a set and these are, she doesn't have her own section anymore. We moved it to Marketplace Supplies. Um, she started a job. She works at a school as a school nurse. Um, so she is a lot more busy, so she doesn't make as much. She does it on the weekends or in the evening if she has time. So they're in the marketplace supplies. These are the cutest thing ever. Look at those tiny little crocheted butterflies. Super, super adorable. 
So you get a set of those. They're on gold paper clips. So that's what we have from Connie. We're going to look at Above Par Crafts. And these are her Halloween um, supplies that she has sent to me. The first thing is this bundle. And this is a mix of new and vintage fabrics, 12 different kinds. I'm not going to pull it all apart. They're all fall slash Halloween-ish colors. There's um, laces, different textures, um, all sorts of browns, greens, and oranges. And there's a really nice velvety black here. That would be a great Halloween journal cover. So that is a Halloween slash fall uh, fabric bundle right there. Then we have, sometimes I like to just put pieces of ephemera together. This is the, I guess, kind of Halloween. It's not all Halloween, but I just picked some random items from, she sends me boxes of goodies to list for her. So this has earthquakes and volcanoes, and I'm putting it in here because of the color scheme and because it's kind of like natural disaster slash, slash science, and I thought that would look really good. It's a vintage book. And then there's a set of these five vintage bingo cards. And then historical uniform series one. These are postcards. Really nice postcards. There's vintage wine labels, 18 wine labels, and 12 vintage uh, 1971 tarot cards. So though that is a little set she has there. And then these are Halloween book pages she put together, 47 pages each from 36 different books, some French, the remainder in English. So we're not going to look through every page, but I'm just going to show you a little bit of what you could expect in one of these. So these are all Halloween themed, the girl in black, how to catch a ghost. They're all Halloween themed book pages from all sorts of different books. There's like spiders and all sorts of things. So if you're into that, jack-o'-lanterns, all sorts of stuff in here. So if you're wanting a huge variety of um, Halloween papers that she's got you covered and there's three sets. So very nice to have that if you're looking for it. And then she has these, there's two of them, Halloween Junk Journal Kit. This is everything that's in it. And I will take a picture of this and put it on the listing. She's just collaged a big bag here to store everything. And we're not going to be able to look through every piece, but I want you to see an idea of what the kit is like. And here it is. It is a huge Halloween kit. There are buttons and twine and um, stickers and cards and book pages, coffee dyed papers, um, journal book cover. There's so much in here for creating a Halloween journal. Even little plastic spiders, lots of book pages. So I'll put this here just for a second so you can see what's in it. If you need to pause it, but I will also have a photo of this paper on the listing. And there's two similar, whoa, I'm dropping stuff. Two similar sets of these. And let me pick up what I dropped before I forget it. All right, let me see if I can set these to the side. And then she also has an autumn Thanksgiving kit. And I'm not going to open it up. She has it beautifully packaged. There's stamps and doily little like appliques. And here's everything that is in it. And again, I'll take a picture of that for the listing. But everything you need to make a journal, including a book cover. So that is really fun. Autumn Thanksgiving. Okay, set that aside. Oh, here's another one from Paula that I missed. Uh, these are fabric pockets. Look at how pretty these are. So you can just um, glue them down to a page or like tuck spots, pockets, flips, journal cover fronts, whatever you want them to be. They are truly beautiful. There's little beads sewn on, different themes, and there's 10. 
so very lovely. Okay, we're going to look, Vicki has some more things, Vicki uh, Phelps, and I think this is one of her, yeah, this is one of her ephemera books, you guys love her ephemera books, look at how pretty, so she has these little, um, I called them macrame, I think they're tatted, or I'm not really sure, I forget what she said, but there's three of them on there you can use, she makes it look like a journal or a book, but when you open it, this is called burlap, it's refillable, and there's all of these bags, and they're stuffed. So inside, they're stuffed with book pages, goodies, ephemera, and then the pockets, she's included ephemera as well, and it is refillable. So you take out what you want, you put in what you want, and you keep it near your craft desk or on your bookshelf. Um, you can, she makes a lot of these, and she sells them here. So I would, if I were you, I'd start collecting them and putting them on your shelf and maybe doing different themes based upon what they look like. So this could be pink, floral, nature, if you wanted it to be. Um, very, very pretty. She had a, a couple of vintage books. These are from Vicki. So Story of the Other Wise Man. On, I've seen this movie and read the book. It's incredible. But this would be perfect for a little Christmas journal. And um, this is from... 1923, so it is very old. And then this is Gray's Elegy, and it's very old. It's a definitely used. I'll probably put them together as a set, but look at how old and beautiful this is. Super, super pretty. And Elegy written in a country churchyard by Thomas Gray. And I think this is 1878. Anyway, super old. These are like 100-year-old books. So there's those. Vicki also has these. And these are perfect for, I think, in a um, journal. So you can take this metal part off like that. And then you can glue this on the front of a journal. And of course, if you like that image, that is wonderful. Or you can just pop the back off and replace it with the image that goes with your journal. But there's um, two of these. And then, what are these ones? Oh, just little frames. And then you can put in whatever picture you want. And I will probably, there's three of them. I'll probably list it as a set of three. And then you can just um, pop in whatever picture you want and use those as journal covers. All right, what is next? We're still on Vicky, so we have Wallpaper Ephemera. Six small labels, eight large labels, seven small butterflies, five large butterflies. So this feels like vintage wallpaper. Um, and then she has butterflies and labels in these beautiful, beautiful wallpaper here. Gorgeous colors, and they would look beautiful throughout a journal. Love those. Very, very pretty, Vicky. There's only one set of those, so scarf that up. This is also from Vicky. These are vintage wallpaper pockets. There's four of them. So vintage wallpaper, and then it is just a little pocket like that. Look at how pretty that scalloped edge is. And you can store things in it. You can glue these to a page in a journal or the back of a journal. Look at how pretty the old wallpaper is. This one even has a little pocket on the front really pretty. So four vintage wallpaper pockets. I know those are going to go lovely. Those are from Vicki as well. So everything I've been showing here, if it's a journal, it's in Marketplace Journals. And if it is supplies, it's in Marketplace Supplies. You may notice as you are going through the Marketplace Journals, by the way, we're not done yet. This is the next thing we're looking at. As you're going through the marketplace journals, you may see some journals by myself and by Joanne. And we decided that um, we each have a section, Lindsay's Handmade and Joanne's Handmade, and we keep our journals and handmade items in there. However, sometimes I think that our journals get looked over when people are looking for journals on our site, they go to the marketplace section. So we renamed it Marketplace Journals to differentiate between marketplace supplies and we've copied the listing. So you'll still find it in Handmade by Lindsay and Handmade by Joanne. But if it's a journal, the listing um, will be copied 
or may be copied, we might not always do it, but may be copied over to Marketplace Journals so you see it when you're looking for a journal. So if you see one by Joanne and a couple by me, that's why they're put there so that you see them if you're looking for a journal. So this is beautiful. This is a journal Vicki made. I love the blue color. She made those. Look at how pretty. This is a Reader's Digest cover. Oh, wow. How beautiful. So pretty. Oh, it's called Blueberry Morning. Needle tatted. That's what they're called. Needle tatted tassels. So how gorgeous is this? Just this sweet blue. This is so pretty. It is simple and gorgeous places to journal, journal cards and tags. I think this is the Louise Heinzel um, Blueberry Morning. I think that's whose it is. Look at the textured paper and inked there. So lovely, Vicki. This is just my type of journal. I love it. it. Reminds me a little bit of a Rita Henderson journal as far as the way the inside is set up. Perfect for writing. So Vicki made this. I love her needle tatted tassel here. And you can even take these off. Like if you wanted to keep one on there and move some, you could, but I'd keep them all in there. They go so well together. All right, let's see what else we have. This is also from Vicki. It's another ephemera holder. Look at this gorgeous burgundy. Okay. And then there's some needle, what are they called? Needle tatted tassels. The little vintage slide there. She made some charms. And again, it's these paper bags. So they're all stuffed here. And then there's pockets. Look at how expandable these pockets are. You can stuff a lot in them. And she puts all sorts of random things. You may get vintage handkerchiefs or slides. There's some sari silk fabric, Christmas embroidered hanky. You never know what you'll get. And then of course it's refillable, fill it up. Keep it nearby when you're working. Gorgeous, Vicki, I love this color. It's probably, this is probably my favorite color, this maroon. All right, what else are we missing here? Um, Vicki die cuts, okay. 13 die cuts, doilies, butterflies, flowers, and frames. I love how some of them are glittered. So these are just, you can use them in your journals. If you don't have a die cutting machine or something like that, this is a wonderful option. And these colors in the purple and green are super pretty. And I really think you could use them in Halloween journals with that pop of purple and green, but you could also use the green in Christmas and you could use it in springtime and nature. So they're very, very versatile. Oh, I think we're up to Lonnie. So we're going to look at what Lonnie sent. First, I have to thank you, Lonnie, for this amazing packet of goodies you sent me. I am so excited. I brought those little stickers. I'll use these on my Christmas snippet rolls. It's probably what I'll use them for. And even some, oh, wow. Thank you so much for the sweet goodies. Love them. All right. So here's a journal Lonnie made. I love the size. Three signatures. This fabric is all like seam allowance. So I'm guessing maybe sewing themed. It's really pretty. Let's open it up and see what it looks like inside. All right. This is called Fabric Clutch. And she's used Tracy Fox. Um, in here, a little bit of her late digital labels. I love this size. Look at there's little pockets to put things in. So it's not really heavily embellished. It has pockets. It's kind of just ready for you to go, ready for you to um, use and take any direction you want. I love the little stitch pockets. They're so cute. In, in here too. It is a very, very well-made journal, but very basic on the inside. That gives you the opportunity to decorate it any way you want. So what a sweet journal there. This one is also by Lonnie and I love the size, but I love the cover. It has like this acetate over the front of this botanical image and on the back as well. And to me, it looks like it is a, is it a traveler's notebook? This is really neat. Let's see what she says. Ephemera folder. Oh, okay. This is an ephemera folder. Oh, wow. Yep. Mm -hmm. Look at there's um, labels. 
and stickers. I love those little pockets, little labels and stickers, little dangles, more wa uh, stickers. There's some washi tape in there. More washi tape. And then here's some papers that you can slip in and out, book pages and coffee dye pages because there is an elastic. More pockets full of ephemera. There's tabs, there's leafs, there's postage stamps, and you can slip these out. There's a pocket and then a little folder. More postage stamps. So you can pull the folder out, get what you need for your project, and slip the folder back in. That way you're not trying to dig into this. You can pull this out. That is incredible. Love the setup of this. Little mini tags, little bigger tags, some paper clips, tags and goodies back there. The Lord will bless his people with peace, Psalm 29, 11. I love it. I love it, Lonnie. How pretty. I know somebody's going to adore this. Look at this cover. Isn't that pretty? Look at the how beautiful the signatures are. Five signatures. This is from Lonnie as well, and it's a journal. It takes a lot of patience to put in five signatures. It looks like there may have been something clipped on this, but maybe it got lost because I don't I don't see it. Okay. Let's see what she says about it. Green and gold flowers and she's used my porch prints for her digitals which one of my favorites love my porch prints i need to make another order look at how pretty look at all these gorgeous dyed pages and then you have little pocket with like little goodies but then you have so many pages for writing and these are so beautiful and then you have gorgeous coffee dyed or coffee dyed paper backed ephemera. There's more here. It's a little um, ephemera folder. Well, look at that. So pretty. Everything you need to decorate your journal. This is beautiful. I love that, how she did that paper. Look at all the pretties. So many pretties. The feel of this is just gorgeous. And that cover, oh. Beautiful, beautiful. We have one more thing to look at today, and that is this. It looks like a little ephemeral holder clutch, maybe. Let's take a look. I love the fabric reinforcement. Oh, it just keeps folding. Look at that. And then it opens here. Let's see what she says about it. Flip Flop Traveler's Journal, completely undecorated with ephemera pack. So, yeah. Okay, so we have an elastic. And then this is just a little flowish journal or a whole bunch of papers you could use if you want it as just like an ephemera holder, which is probably what I would use it for. And a whole pack of goodies that you can use. And I'm gonna stick this pack in here so I don't, well, I really don't wanna lose it. Oh, maybe I can just set it on the back there. And then, yeah, that works, maybe. When I have a, um, all different artists, I try to keep their work together and I don't want to lose anything. There we go. We'll just keep it together. I went the wrong way. I'm hilarious. Not really. Oh, well. I will just, maybe I have a clip. I do. I will clip it on there so I don't lose it. There we go. All right. That is everything for today. Tomorrow we are going full steam into August challenge journals. 
sharing some more of those. And I'm really, really excited about that. I've received so many boxes and I am so excited to share. It is all like old books and script and lace. And you guys are going to love what my artists have made. And I hope that you'll join in on one of the other challenges, September or October. And I'll see all of you later. I hope you'll take a second to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.